Hi guys, and welcome back. So today I am going to do something I have been meaning to do for a while, and that is set up my home theatre system surround speakers. Uh, to mount them, I'm basically, due to having a two-story house, going to be running along the skirting board here, up, over the top, down, and mounting one speaker in the corner here, running the cable for the second one all the way along, and mounting it at the other end down here. I need a soldering iron, and because uh, it's a pain in the ass carrying around a big station, I have this little guy, the TS-80, which I've done a couple of small videos on already. Clips in, and it runs on a USB. Unless you're using Relim's uh, custom firmware, it will not run on 5 volt uh, USB power. It actually requires 9, so it needs quick charge 2 or above. It's designed for quick charge 3 but it will work happily on quick charge 2. Uh, the purpose of this little video before I start doing the actual work is about making it portable because sometimes I work in sites that may not have power and I decided that since we use Milwaukee that the best thing to do would be make something that works with the Milwaukee battery systems. Uh, they make a plug-on uh, USB adapter, however, unfortunately, this only runs at standard 5 volt to 2.4 amp out. So it will not work with the solder iron without using custom firmware, which although it works great, is slow to heat up and to recover. What I decided is to find a way to adapt. Now, in cars, you can get those if you go to J Car and Tesco and um, Radio Shack, you can buy ones that you can put into the car. So I've actually used one of those and I've put it into this. So this is non standard. And we have USB Quick Charge 2.0. So the story behind this uh, particular beautiful piece of equipment. For my birthday, I was given this torch, which although fantastic and very bright, is of very limited use to me at work. Yeah, once every now and then, but not very often. And it was given to me by my fantastic mother-in-law. She is absolutely phenomenal. And uh, I found a way to make it amazing, rather than just a mediocre torch. So, I installed this uh, USB into the back of the handle and uh, obviously because it's quick charge too now I can use it with the TS-80 with no external power and uh, with a fantastic bright light for small areas where I may require additional lighting great for under cupboards, things like that and not only a fantastic iron but uh, I believe that it is probably we'll go 380 uh, yeah I believe it's probably the best soldering iron on the market uh, better in my opinion than the TS100 like I say with this as a work tool damn not unbeatable and it's so compact cable and everything else in a tiny little case that fits in your hand. Uh, this this beats the pants off anything else that's portable or battery powered. But what about gas? You, the problem is that they're a pain in the ass. You can run in a butane and it, you never have any when you need it. Uh, sometimes the, uh, the tips and so on need to be cleaned, which is only going to be when it's a pain. And uh, more importantly, I actually can't use a butane unit. And the reason for that is because I occasionally work on fuel sites. So open flames on fuel sites is a big no-no. Uh, I'll try and insert in a couple of photographs from when I actually built this so you can see it with the clamshell pulled apart. If this interests you, uh, pop me a message or send me an email. If you want more information, yeah, get in touch and uh, let me know your thoughts, like, 
comment, subscribe, all that stuff. And we'll see you in the next video for the home theater. Thanks for watching, guys.